What's up, everybody? I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Burr, burr, burr. We got a very special guest in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He is responsible for a lot of laughter, a lot of shows, a lot of a lot of talent in the black community, providing jobs and whatnot. He's even provided a job of six for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the creator, producer, director, uh, studio owner. Showrunner and also Mr. Almondy. So Almondy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got Bentley Carl Evans in the building. What up? What up? What's up, black man? Man, my back's itching right now. You, know, you ever have your back itching? That's a good. That's a move. I can't get back there. I, that's a move. I need yoga or some shit. I can't get back there, man. That's why there's nothing better than a good back scratch. You know. I, I got one right next to my bed. I got a back scratcher. Oh, really? I reach back there in the middle of the night and say, "You stay asleep. I got it." Oh <laughs> man, you were telling us a great story, and I thought we weren't muted. I just found out we were muted about your this this friend of yours who was a friend of Richard Fryer. And how he cracked up a coconut. Just he had two co three coconuts and he just uh, and just cracked up a coconut. That's yeah. You know, and I also saw him take somebody down by using one finger and he just touched him right here and the dude. Oh, dropped that's some Bruce Lee shit. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. Was eye. he attacking? No, he or was, was it a demo? No, what it was was more of a demo because this guy, this cat named Eric that used to work with me was was saying, I don't believe that. I don't believe that shit. That uh, that ain't real. And he said, oh, is that right, brother? No, he had a really deep voice. He said, is that right, brother? Oh, shit. I would have believed him then after he said that. <laughs> and he, he goes to touch him like right here, and dude dropped to his knees and was begging, saying, please stop, please stop. Wow. Oh, so he kept his finger on, yeah. and it was just like a... Yeah. He, he, had just, a knew, he just knew the pressure point like yeah. that. He must yeah. not have seen he the coconut warped. trick. That's a, that's a clean-on trick right there. Yeah, yeah. It was Next pretty generation. Crazy. Tripped me out. I would have believed him, especially He's... if I saw the, the coconut smash. You said he just went like this, and it exploded. Yeah, he, he, took, he took these... Okay, so he explained to me that the coconut that a coconut is much harder than the human head, mm -hmm. right? The human skull. And so he takes these coconuts and he's like, uh, he stacks them up and he's like, All right, brother, so which one you want me to break? And I said, I think I'm intelligent. Break the one in the middle. Get that one. So he takes his hand or and he rubs it over the coconut for you know, a few seconds, and he closes his eye, and he just, just pop, he barely tapped the coconut on top, and the one in the middle broke. Oh, he didn't even touch the middle one. No. Oh, wow. No, he, t he hit the one on top, and I guess he sent his energy to burst the one in the middle, mm -hmm. which, you know, I don't believe in superstitious stuff like that and crazy, way out, weird stuff, but mm -hmm. I saw it with my own eyes, it's and it Superman. tripped me out, milk everywhere. And yeah, so it didn't just crack. It was like, Pfft. nah. He was like the most dangerous person I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, he was, Goku. Yeah. <laughs> he described a black Goku. Yeah, hey. but he could cook and shit. So that was... Speaking of like not believing in you know ghosts and that type of stuff, I just made a video today about Lake Lanier. Three more people died mm -hmm. this weekend on Lake Lanier. Three. Mm -hmm. Can't put the camera on me real quick. Let me tell y'all something. Stay y'all punk ass away from that lake. <laughs> okay? One of the people that passed this weekend got electrocuted. That's crazy. Now how you get electrocuted jumping in a lake? I don't even know how that's possible. Oh, they happened. don't know. Okay? It happened. The ancestors don't want nobody in that lake. Mm -hmm. Race excluded. Nobody is excluded. We can't go. I'm not going. Pat better not go. Billy black ass better not go. I ain't going. Okay? <laughs> They'd be mad that he wasn't there. Where was you at when we needed you? <laughs> Leave that damn lake Alone, Ooh. go to the YMCA, go to Six Flags, Swiftly. Swiftly allows you to rent people's pools. Go to go to, get good Swiftly. Or just cut out all water activities, okay? Uh -huh. But leave Lake Lanier alone. That's why do they do that? Why, why do people, they know it already has a history, right? Yeah. Why do they uh, attempt it? Because why do people still join gangs? That's true. People That's say they true. feel people like, like hands pulling them down, right? That's what they say? That's like the, the rumor. I mean, the ones that lived, but wow. apparently there's like trees down there because it used to be like a city that flooded mm -hmm. or something. They flooded a black city. That was, wow, that's, that's what happened, right? Pretty, yeah, yeah that's, there's a whole town creepy. under at the bottom of the lake. Uh -huh, and they filled yeah. it with water. Yeah. That seems like a haunted ass, ass place. And I have the, uh, the story pulled up. This happened. Uh, a neighbor on a boat jumped in the water to help somebody and reported feeling a burning sensation, which they immediately recognized as an electric shock. Uh, so they swam ashore, turned off the power, and re-entered the water to help the person. So I guess it was just like... Turn off the power of what? 
It just said turn off the power. I, that's what, what I don't power? understand. Like, in a boat? Dock lights? What? I don't. I, I, I'm not understanding. I can't. I can't wrap my mind around it. Yep. I don't even want to read it because I feel like if you read too much about it, then the answer is <laughs> like, oh, you want to be oh, nosy. You want to know? <laughs> you sticking your nose in grown folks' business. I was thinking about this. I couldn't think of his name. I had to look it up. I don't know if you've ever read or listened to the autobiography of uh, Malcolm X. Uh, I, you know, we had it. It was on the coffee it's, table. It's, it's, we didn't a, it's, read it. it's thick. I'm listening to it yeah. on audiobook right now. Lawrence Fishburne reads it. It's great. Yeah. Right? Do audibles. It's, it's way better. Okay. But it's 16 hours. It's a, it's a, it's a listen, right? Damn. But in the book, he had this guy that he talked about named West Indian Archie. He was a numbers runner. I heard him. And West Indian Archie was like that, that weird, tall guy. And he, every numbers runner, they <coughs> you write down your number and they give you a slip. So that's how you prove that this is a number you play. West Indian Archie never wrote down the numbers. He just remembered every combination that people came up and played. They were like, I want to play 367. Mm -hmm. And they pay him. And he'd be like, 367, James, got you. Yep. And then he would just, because like, while people are running numbers, the cops are looking for people who are the number runners because mm -hmm. they would get them for uh, illegal gambling. And you mm -hmm. so and they, they have the papers on you, yep. then you got evidence. So he never kept papers on him. Damn. But like the stories and the lore around West Indian Archie sound like your guy that you were telling me about. Yeah. It's a, it's a great read. I'm really enjoying First of all, Malcolm X was with the shits. He yeah, was yeah, out yeah. here selling dope, running numbers, <laughs> Damn. hipping holes, breaking in oh. houses. He was a while, pimp? He yes. was, oh, he, has, he, he was fucking with the white chicks. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had him. Uh, one chick was, I think Sophia was married, and then she, well, first she wasn't married. She was, he was, he was pimping her out, not pimping her like that, but getting money from her and shit. Then she got married, and he still was doing it. Then he had Sophia and her sister breaking in houses with him and his own boy. Yeah. I heard about that story. Yeah. I didn't know he was, I didn't, I didn't know he was pimping them, though. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he, he worked for Madam. So basically, uh -huh. there were other times where one of his jobs were he, were, he was to go meet John's white guys, mm -hmm. and they would get in a car. And the madam would tell them where to go. But, like, if it was a white cab driver, the white cab driver, they would have him drop them off somewhere, like, at a, a high traffic place. And then they would look for a black cab to take them to the secret location uh. so the white men could fuck the black women and live out their fetishes and shit like uh, that. Yeah. I, I didn't know that was Malcolm X. I think I heard you talking about that last what, what week. What was Malcolm's yeah. name? Was it, it was Chicago Red? Detroit Red. Detroit Red. Detroit yeah. Red. Yeah. Detroit yeah. Red. Yeah. He was, uh, uh, like, Detroit. He was from Detroit. He was actually from a city close to Detroit, but they just said Detroit. Uh, then he went to Boston, and then from Boston he went to New York. Okay. Yeah, but he was on the run for a while. What? Oh, uh, no, I'm like, Cotty's in the chat. She said, ask Bentley about the ghost in his first house. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Man. He said you don't believe in ghosts. No, okay, so here's the thing. Whoa. <laughs> here's the thing. It's not that I don't believe in ghosts. Mm -hmm. What it is is it sounds silly to me, and I feel like this. I feel like... I'm just not going to open myself up to it. So as mm -hmm. long as I say I don't fuck with it, I don't believe in it, they're not going to show up. Because mm -hmm. if they showed up, I think they know who can handle it and who can't. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to think that if a ghost shows up, that I would be able to go, yeah. hey, what's up, man? What are we doing? Are we sharing a space? Are what are we, we doing? I mean, <laughs> I mean or, or who are you here from? I mean, are you trying to connect me? I would want to think that I would be that kind we of logical. We all want to think that. I, no, I'm, I, I want to think that I could be right. able to go, are you evil or are you not? Because I, I just want to know how to you know, get myself together. Hmm. Now, here's the thing. So I bought this house. <laughs> well, let me, let me backtrack. I got this house. So I had told my father that uh, I want, you know, I said, look, you know what? I want to get a house. My father had this thing that he said where when you leave his house, I don't yeah. want you getting an apartment. Mm -hmm. You got to go from your house to your house, my house to your house. Mm -hmm. Really? So I like said, okay, it? yes. Mm -hmm. so that's, I, all, that's all right. Yeah, he's a real estate guy. He's okay, a real estate okay. guy. So, so I said, hey, hey um, dad, I'm ready to get a house. So it was just this simple. He said, oh, yeah, okay, cool. He hands me a set of keys and he says, run around there on Mount Vernon and see if there's uh see if you like this house. So as soon as he said it, if anybody anybody that's from that area, Windsor Hills, View Park, mm -hmm. you know Mount Vernon is probably the most prestigious street up there. Hmm. And I was like, I can't afford no Mount Vernon. What is he talking about? So I go over and look at this house, uh, passed the house a thousand times in my life, I never paid attention to it. And I uh so I I, I use the key and I go in and I'm going. Yo, for somebody who's never had their own house, this is a palace. Mm -hmm. Right. It's beautiful hardwood floors and fireplaces and shit. I've never seen nothing like that, right? <laughs> oh, so I can't wait for this shit. Yeah, yeah. So so I was uh so I move in the house. It's a long story short. I move in the crib, Pops works it out. I'm literally in the house 
seven days later. Damn. Seven days later, I didn't give up no money. I don't nepotism know what Nepotism is did. a great thing when it benefits you. You understand me? God, especially when you're black, because we don't have too many nepotisms. <laughs> ah, we don't. We don't. We got a bunch of nephews, but not nepotism. <laughs> That's lit. So, so I was, I was, uh, so I'm in the house one day, and I come outside, and there's this brother outside, uh, this musician named Ndugu Chancellor. He used to play with Ndugu. Ndugu. He played with Patrice Russian. He was a bad boy too. Ndugu. Ndugu. Okay. Ndugu. Shit. Ndugu. R.I.P. Ndugu. So check this out. And Dougal standing in the middle of the street, and he said, hey, bro, come here for a minute. So I go over to him. He said, man, you know what? I, I saw you moving in, and, you know, you oh, kind of remind me a lot of, of myself, man, when I moved over here. How old are you? I said, I'm 26. He said, I was 26 when I moved here. I said, well, cool, man. Let's, I'm so happy to meet somebody on the block. Uh -huh. I said, man, let's go in the house and talk about it. He goes, oh, no, no, that's, that's all right. I he said, was in the middle of the street? We're in the middle of the street. He lived right across the street. Oh, okay. I said, what do you mean? Come on, let's go get a beer. I got some beers in the fridge, and mm -hmm. we can chop it up. Man, and, and Dugu. And he was like this. No, nah, I'm good. I'm going to just stay out here. I'm going to stay out here. And I was like this. What? Okay, so what am I missing here, right? And he said, hey, man, I mean, you, you don't know what happened in there, do you? And I said, in where? <laughs> he said, in your house. I said, Oh shit! No. <laughs> That's how your daddy got it, that cheat. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tell, tell me about it. So I said, I said to him, I said, "Hey man, look, um, you know, uh, if you got some crazy shit to tell me, I, you know, I'm not ready for that." He said, "He said, <laughs> okay." Said, I'm not ready. He goes, "All right, I'll leave it alone." Then I said, "Now go ahead." So he said, "So here's the deal." He said, "How'd you get this house?" I said, "Well, my father got it from this dude named." He said, "It was his name, Philippe." I said, yeah, his name was Philippe. His, his name's on all the mail that's in the house. And he said, well, you know Philippe's in prison right now doing uh, three life sentences. Whoa. And I said, for what? He said, well, he dismembered many people in that house, and one of the bodies they never found the head, and they say it's still in the house. Right? That was so much worse than what I thought anything you could have said. Yeah, so... so I thought it was just going to be somebody died in the house. No, it's a like murder house? It's a murder So now I got to go back in... Now I got to go back in the house because uh -huh. I got to live there. Yeah. And so... And I'm home by myself. I said, oh, shit. Well, we don't, we, don't, we don't do the ghosts. We don't believe in the ghosts. So we're all right. So, you know, I go back in the house and I just made a conscious decision... Uh, you know, my, my, my girlfriend at the time was living with me and I was like, oh, don't tell her, don't Ooh. tell her. So I just never said nothing, but it was always weird shit that was happening in the house. And I'm looking for the ghosts the whole time. I what was been... the weird shit? So like well, weird stuff would happen. Like I remember one time I brought home a big ass ficus plant, ficus tree or something like that. Uh -huh. And I brought it in the house and it was beautiful, right? The next morning, not only was it dead, all the leaves fell off of it. All of them. The next day? The next day, bro. <clears throat> so I was like, okay. And then, like, you would close the door, and then you'd walk out the room and come back in the room, and the, and the door would be open. You didn't hear it, though. So it's like, hey, that's weird. <laughs> so, and then there was one room. The energy was really weird. So this was... Uh, presumed to be the master bedroom, okay. right? Uh, or the primary bedroom now. I, I guess they don't say master bedroom no more from what yeah, I understand. Yeah, crazy, right? Ma <laughs> <laughs> they didn't cut out master bedroom. I'm like, okay, everything's so politically mm -hmm. correct. But anyway, this room, when you went in the room, it was always cold, uh -huh. very cold. So it could be like the weather well, is been, now. That would have been, been my room. Yeah, well, I thought I like that, it. and then I was like this. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to move in that room because I don't trust it. That's the room where the head was in. Yeah, that head probably was where the head. And the windows in the room would would it was like they would slide but they would come up. And nah, you were, and you were like this up, though. And it was like, "Hey, is that, you know, dumb, I'm dumb. As I'm just dumb. I'm like this. Hey, maybe it's the heat. Maybe it's the heat that's rises. causing it's causing the 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 pain. You were to, choosing to be ignorant at this yeah, point. You know. You, yeah, ignorance is bliss though. Cuz you don't want to believe. Yeah. You didn't want to believe. Ignorance is bliss, man. So here was here was the last one that 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 really uh, tripped me out. So I, I'm having a party. I'm having a Halloween party, and it's fitting, fitting, very, very, very befitting. You didn't tell and nobody. Didn't I didn't tell nobody? Nothing. I never told nobody except for my father. And this is what I said to him when I found out about. It. I said, "Hey, Dad, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, uh, did you know about 
uh, did you know about some some murder? Somebody died in the house? And he said, he was so cool. He said, hey, listen, man, you know what you need to be concerned with? These niggas walking around, not the dead. Wow. They ain't gonna do shit to you. <laughs> he said, do you like the house? I said, yeah, he goes, all right, I'll see you later. I got clients. <laughs> <laughs> get, get on out of here now, nigga. The year. <laughs> <laughs> cool, the truth. cool guy. <laughs> cool, very, 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 very cool. Oh, but, but but I'm in I'm in the I'm in the crib. Um, don't I had this party, and so all these people come. It's popping. You know, it's it's popping. I'm 26 years old in a fly ass crib. It's it's popping. Yeah. And this one cat comes over named Jimmy. He was married to one of my very good friends, Kim. And Jimmy comes in the house and he's 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 twitching and shit. And I'm like. And Kim, what's wrong with your dude? He's glitching over there, right? <laughs> and she goes, I don't know. So he walks out the front door, and I go out after him, and Kim's outside. And he goes, hey, man, um, I really appreciate the, the invite and everything, man, but I can't go back in there. And I said, why? He goes, there's demons in your house. So I said, what do you mean demons? He said, they're demons, and they're on select people that are in your house. They're sitting on their shoulders. Oh, shit. Party's over. So I said... Hey, I said, well, did you see any demons on my shoulder? He said, no, they weren't around you at all. But he started mentioning names. And, usually, and most of them were people I didn't really like. No way. I was like, yeah, that nigga seemed like a demon. <laughs> so, so, so I was like, what? It really tripped this dude out, right? And so he was like, he never went in the house again. So finally cut to the chase. After the 94 earthquake happened, there was a little damage to the crib. So I ended up moving out. But the day that I was moving out, this minister that lived next door, older cat, he said, son, I'm so, I'm so happy to see you leaving. And I'm like, huh? Well, you're happy to see, see me? I was quiet, wasn't I? He said, no, it's not that. I was just ha I'm happy because I see that you're moving on. I'm, but but I, I have to tell you, you know, there's some evil in that house. And I said, yeah, I kind of heard. And he goes, did you hear all the stories? Oh, shoot. So <laughs> now he's telling me that there was a body buried in the backyard they had put formaldehyde on them and tried. It was so many crazy stories. They told me that in the 1940s, it was a German abortion clinic or something like that. It was it was oh, so much Multiple stuff. hauntings. Yeah, because, yeah, they, they had built that house for the 1939 Olympics that were here in L.A. It was some weird. It was just weird and weird, weird shit. So when I moved out the house, I left a few boxes and stuff that I had to go back to get the next day. When I go back to the crib, now, all my stuff's gone pretty much, but but a few boxes. I went back in, and you go through the garage, and you go up these stairs to enter the house. And when I went inside, I noticed that I'm looking at a drop of water that's dipping, dipping, dipping through the ceiling. I'm like, oh, shit, what's, what's going on? And I could hear that the water's on. Mm -hmm. So I mash up the stairs. Every orifice, every faucet in the house is on, and water's pouring out. Every one. All the bathrooms, the showers, the everything, the toilets running and everything. And I politely backed up and walked out very slowly. And I never went back to get, I don't even know, I don't know what happened to that shit. I left. Oh, you didn't even take, turn no. the faucets off? I ran up out of there. I got up out of there. Now, it could have been a vagrant that came in there and just turned everything on. Was the doors unlocked? No, because I went through the garage door, so I don't know if the front door was unlocked or not. Oh, you really didn't go back. No, I, I, never, went back, I never went back in the crib, period. Damn. Did you send your dad over to that to at least turn the water off? How did you sell it? How did you get rid of the house? So, okay, so... <laughs> So my father's very. I got all the questions about this. <laughs> you know, you know. my father's a very interesting guy. And real estate hustlers is hustlers, and then there's real estate investors. He was a real estate investor hustler. Mm. So he, the cut to the chase. He he had got the house from the guy that was in prison. The guy was losing the house. So he basically said, look, we'll cash you out about 15, mm -hmm. and you know, you just turn over the deed to us. Mm -hmm. So the guy does that. So. We take over the payments. Mm -hmm. So realistically, I just stopped making the payments mm. and let the house go because I had just bought a new house mm. in Ladera Heights. So I was like, no harm, no foul. It was like I hold rented up, the house. Bentley, no, I know. I we know. got a lot of stuff. I know. Is the house still standing? Yes. I, I wanna, I'm Matter trying to find fact, it. I, <laughs> I just drove by. It's 3645 Mount Vernon Drive. Uh, in, uh, How know, long were you at that house? I lived there for about two and a half years. So at 28, you went from 
one great neighborhood to an, another one all under the age of 30? Yeah, I mean, I, I did. Then I, I, sell them dope. You heard it here first. <laughs> so damn it and that you scared. Special, exclusive. Ba, 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 ba. I moved, and then I left there and moved to Encino, where I currently live at the age of, I bought that house at 30, and I've been there for ever since. You got the same house? Same house. I've been there for 25 years. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. That was such a good story. <laughs> I hope I didn't bore nobody with that. Wait, did you did you see a physical ghost? No, because I didn't. I didn't see a physical ghost. Now that that's something I'm I'm really I'm really skeptical on. I don't believe that they actually that there is actually physical ghosts. Because here's the question that I would ask. Yeah. I always ask people when they say I saw a ghost. I say, Oh yeah. Did that ghost have on like what was what was it wearing? Was it wearing a a, a, a gown or some clothes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was my aunt, and she was wearing a gown. I said, Oh, so. The gown had a ghost too, and they're like, "Huh?" I'm oh, like, like "They would be naked because of ghost clothes." Oh, come on! Mm. I mean, if you saw a ghost, <laughs> the, the gown ain't no ghost. I see what you're saying. Does the robe Hell have a ghost? Nah. I see what you're saying. You, you see where I'm at? No, no. Thirty six four five Mount Vernon Drive here, Los Angeles. Okay, I thought that was the wrong one. Man, it says three killed. I don't know. And murder bro. suicide in Mount you know, Vernon. You know, my my boy said, yeah, man, my aunt came and I and and, and the door opened and she had rollers in her hair and she was looking in on me. I was like, come on, man, you got auntie. Ah. Got rollers in her head. What what's the question? So, well, do you think? Well, do you just think that the ghost exists, but what you see is your vision of the person? You know. Do you know what it's I'm like saying? a recording. Yeah, it's yeah like, like it's, the ghost is there, but you're gonna see what your mind can imagine the person wearing. Yeah, it's, it's all imagination. It's, it's all yeah. perspective. I believe in energy. Mm -hmm. I definitely so believe. So you think they're, you're dressing the energy basically? Like you're dressing the energy. Yes, you're you're, you're, so yes, you're playing you're playing dress up yes. with the energy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the ghosts have been waiting collectively for your ass to slip. And then they're going to pull up on you in big numbers. I'm like, what, the, what was that shit you was talking about? I'm scared of that. You all at the That's studio insane. talking about niggas ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, knock over a vase. Is that real enough for you, Playboy? I'm scared of that. <laughs> so, 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 also, so this lady that works, at, that works at my studio, she was working at my studio during the COVID, uh -huh. uh, during the whole COVID testing. And so she goes in the back. And then she came outside, and we were like, uh, you had to go. Something happened where she needed to go back inside. And she goes, no, it's okay. I was like, what do you mean? She goes, oh, I saw this white lady in there working in there. I said, well, yeah, it's a few of them. Yeah. She, said, she said, no, she's she's not alive. She's a ghost. So I was like. Who is this to you? So I don't know who the lady was. Cotty would have to. She, Hold you on, know, Cotty was. Hold on. Hold on, fam. So you she, have me working in a haunted studio, as many times as I've been to your studio, Ben, you ain't never told me it's been haunted, bro. Well, I've, I've taken naps there. Me too. <laughs> I slept there the ghost was working? many times. Oh, no, I ain't finna have no ghost sex, <laughs> The ghost man. was working. Ghost sex might be ghost, <laughs> ghost sex might be all right. <laughs> no, you know, here's the thing. The thing about it is, it's like, um, it's, it's like I never saw that. And for me, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm in the building by myself, mm -hmm. you know, many late nights. And, and so I try to tell myself, I don't believe in that shit. But there's a couple of times where I go, I'm going to walk outside and go around. Cause, cause, <laughs> so you knew. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know if I believe Walking it Walking through those wow. sets when it's completely dark and quiet, ain't nobody else around. Bro, scary. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I wonder what the ghost was doing. Like she said, working. I, I don't know what she was doing. She just said that there was the lady saw a ghost in there, and I said, I don't believe in no goddamn ghosts. Mm -hmm. And she was like, No, no, really, it was a a lady, and she was very calm. She just goes, Oh no, I'm not gonna go back inside because yeah. you know there's a lady in there. There's a dead lady in there. Yeah, there's a few ladies in there. <laughs> I don't. Know. Wow. I don't know. That's crazy. My biggest takeaway Ooh. is that uh, demons are like a. A little cute size that can st sit on the shoulders like Disney. Like I would imagine they look like gremlins. The way he describes it, it was like the gremlins that were getting uh -huh. the people. Remember the movie The Gremlins? Yeah. yeah. I would think that maybe that's what they look like. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. And he he pointed out like a but a couple people that you knew. Dude, he said one dude had and <laughs> it was swinging his legs on his <laughs> center. Of his shirt that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how they get you. Like, <laughs> that's how they get you. They say the devil is the prettiest <laughs> angel. That's yeah. hilarious. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But you know, they could have brought him too. They could have brought him. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't know, man. Like I said, it's a weird Your house could have been 
the portal for people who have the wherewithal or that read energy to see the people that came in with the demon. Because you said yeah. you didn't like them anyway, huh? Yeah, the, this one dude, I was like, this, I don't even know how he got invited anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but no, definitely. I, but I think it happened to the right person because I'm the guy that probably could deal with. I'm the guy that, that it was like, and that, I slept very well at night. Um, mm. I didn't like to be by myself in the house. And I noticed that whenever animals were in the house, like dogs and stuff like that, they were never themselves. It was almost mm. like they were a little docile. And I was like... But so. you see all of these these are signs. Yeah, right. I never saw nothing. Until still two years though. You it's saw the dog. Crazy. You saw Jimmy. <laughs> you heard from the the the, the guy in the, the neighbor. Screen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this the red the writing was on the wall. No, this what? was this was really funny though. So on the other side of me, next door on the other side, there was these these girls. I don't know how they got this house because they was young and they was hood. They was cute though, but they was hood, right? And they never would speak to me. I'd be outside waving at them, and they'd be like, mm -mm, mm -mm, nigga, mm -mm, right? And so I guess they had got wind that I was uh, producing Martin at the time, mm. right? So this one, the one girl comes to me, she's like, you do Martin? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, That's yeah, tight. you know, you want to come to a taping? And she said, yeah. So her and her girls, they come to the taping, and from that point on, mm. we're hella cool, right? Right. And one day I'm getting in my car, and the girl goes, Ben Lay, I was like, what's up? She goes, nigga, you don't know what happened in that house? <laughs> I said, everybody knows Damn. except me. <laughs> was what, was the, what was the rent at the house? Huh? What was the rent? Was it high? Uh, it was about 2200 For a four, okay. Yeah. 2200 Now, we're talking 90, we're talking 92 so that yeah. was kind of... That's pretty wow. high. Yeah. That's, That's high, high as hell. For yeah. all yeah. that happened there? Yeah. yeah. There's so many murders in Mount Vernon. No, but... <laughs> no, the city of L.A., but it's on Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon Drive. 3645 Mount Vernon Drive. Okay. We got a lot of stuff I want to talk about. We ain't got no ads today, so we can kind of like cool as hell. linger a little bit. Uh, I want to talk about this Carter B thing real quick. Mm. Uh, don't know if you're familiar with yeah. it, but yeah. you know the story came out a couple of days ago. She's performing. The chick throws a drink on her. Big right? gulp. <laughs> big, big gulp on her, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, uh, Cardi B threw the microphone back at her. A lot of people saying rightfully so. Like, this has become uh, a trend. Damn near so concerts dumb. and shows of people mm -hmm. either running up on the entertainment, running on stage, or throwing something and hitting them. But then a video comes out mm -hmm. from another a, 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 another angle and also earlier, right before that happened, mm -hmm. where Cardi B is asking people to throw water on her. Wait, what? No yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. So No, this, Cardi. Look. I just did a video defending you. Oh, that's not it. Okay, let, let me find it right like here. It hurt. It's another one where okay, here we go. Somebody splashed me with water. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And that now she's saying slash it, right? That's not after. That was before, right? I think that was before. So my two cents is at first when I didn't know about that second part and I just saw that she threw the microphone, I was like this, yeah, get that bitch. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Throws yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bust her. And I was she was accurate with that right oh. too. She right. bow like you know, she she did that before. Yeah. And I was like, damn, okay, yeah, she, she, that girl deserved that. But then when I heard the second part of the story, I was like, you know what? You know what, Cardi, come on, man. <laughs> you flipped it so quick. I flipped. I flipped it. <laughs> but I don't know. And she clearly didn't want that, though. No, but she said she did. She well, said, she said water. She said throw that water on me. Well, what so water dries. Well, what right? did the girl throw? Water through like, a, she looked like she threw a cup of lemonade. Either, like it was, it was a beverage or it was icy or something, but it wasn't water. The one next to him? Yeah. Now, the girl the that's suing, the, the person that's suing for battery is rightfully, it's rightfully so she should sue for battery because you threw something at, at her and the, and, and the crowd saw it. You're a polarizing figure and you busted me in my head. You should get a lawsuit. So Cardi's going to give up all, give up some of that paper her and what's the dude's name? Offset? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe she'll just have Tasha K pay the other girl back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tasha K owes her like the $2 million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the defamatory uh, lawsuit? 
I like Cardi though. I mean, you know nah. what? You know what I like about Cardi? I like her boldness. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not necessarily a big fan of the music and everything. I mean, I you know they they like the what is a WAP? Mm -hmm. They like the WAP. Yeah, I mean WAP was pretty good. WAP, WAP was great. a dance when I was when I was coming. Yeah. Up. You did the it's, still did, oh, it's still a dance. Oh, it's still a dance. It just, just means like this. Oh, okay, okay. It's a horizontal it's a dance. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, I mean, you know, look, I, I you know what I I figured out. I, I think. I think that I have an issue. I won't say I don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't, there's a lot of young hip hop heads that'll be like, "What the motherfucker mean?" I, I think the reason that I don't connect mm -hmm. with today's hip hop and today's music uh, is because I'm not supposed to. Because I remember when I was a kid, my parents used to say, "Turn that double dutch bus shit off," yeah. or whatever you had playing, right? Mm -hmm. Because it was beyond their grasp of understanding. Right. So I think that's what's happening now. I can't understand where it's going. I don't know where. So it's not for me. Yeah. It's it's for my kids. They be listening to stuff. I'm like looking at my son like, what what is that? <laughs> He's like, nah, you don't know. Yeah. You're right. I don't. You're right. But it's not for me. It's not yeah. Now I, I completely get. I've I've definitely felt myself aging out of certain. Certain genres of music or yeah. to certain certain artists, and it ain't for me. And I I I, I gleefully accept it because <laughs> that's the artists that I do still fuck with. They are still making music, so I'm still able to enjoy new stuff. It just ain't all the stuff that's coming out. Like I know one little Uzi song, then I don't even think I the name of it is. Huh? <laughs> you talking about? I Actual forgot Rock? about that. I was thinking uh -huh. about all my friends are dead. Uh, oh yeah, that's EXO tour life. Yeah, see, I, he never says it. You could you could literally put a gun in my head, and I and I I knew I just want to rock, but that would have never came to my mind. <laughs> That's a pretty big song. That is a really big song. <laughs> I don't but like any. Of them. I like it. I you like you don't like any of it. Drake. Utopia. I like Drake. I was gonna say you don't like Drake. I like Drake. Okay. Drake and uh, what's the other boy out in New York? J Cole. He's is he New York? Nah, no, he's, he's um, Fayetteville. 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 Uh -huh. oh, but okay. he went to school oh. in New York. Okay. He played ball there. Yeah, I like mm, I like okay. I like those guys. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot more though. You know, it's like even people are like, man, you don't like Kendrick. You from LA? You don't like Kendrick? I'm like, it's not that I don't like Kendrick. Mm -hmm. Kendrick is not speaking to me. Mm -hmm. He's talking to a, a younger generation. And, we and, gonna be all right. I think I'm already yeah. all right. Yeah, he's talking to a generation that didn't have their first time. <laughs> That's what I'm oh, saying. My, oh, Mount Vernon and then move straight to Foxy. Ladera, like, yeah, Ladera, yeah. Ladera. Ladera. Oh, yeah. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Winter Hills is a little above Ladera, ain't it? No, Winter Hills is in the No, Valley. Winter, no, oh, Winter, Winter Hills. Hills. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's where Megan Marcos from, Windsor Hills. Oh, really? Yeah, she's literally a Windsor from Windsor. You wow. know what I'm saying? She, she grew up in my neighborhood. Of course, I didn't know who the she was. The haunted neighborhood? Yes. <laughs> Let me oh, see. I, hope, I hope this is. It's 1.7 million now. Let me see. That's the house. That is the house. Let me see. It's, it's on Zillow for 1.7 million. That is the house. Oh, the tree in front? Right in the center. Dead center. That's the house. Dead center. That's the house. <laughs> I wonder if the head is still in it. I've oh never, my God, I want to go on that page. I have like, never people seen, died here. Yep. I've never seen nobody come in or out of the house since then. I've never seen the door open. And, you know, I don't go there. You know, my mother lives around the corner, so I go over there. To visit, but every now and then I'll take a trip down memory lane and go, and go down. And that's, where, that's where I was at. Yeah. And was right? it ever painted? Same color, everything, bro. Damn. Nothing, nothing changed. That's crazy. So I wonder if that water's still on. <laughs> the, water's, <laughs> <laughs> the head is for sure still there. <laughs> and the that's body's crazy. in the back. And bodies. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Mm -hmm. and it happened, I feel like it's crazy that you didn't have more experiences with how haunted it actually was. You know what? My, uh, you know, my my girlfriend then, who became my wife, mm -hmm. has said that she felt different energies and different things in there. Now she's into that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. She's. Oh, so why didn't you tell her? Well, I was I was afraid to tell her because <laughs> I was like this. She'll never want to be here. Right, right. Absolutely not. She was afraid of stuff like that, but she would go, <laughs> "Oh no!" But then, see, she's also, you know, <laughs> her and my daughter said they saw a UFO. And I said, let's talk about it. A UFO is an un unidentified flying object. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we see them all the time. We see you drones. You know what, man? We're not going to do this, bro. You're not going to sit up here <laughs> not and pull this apart week. all this stuff. The government just admitted it. <laughs> yeah, this is fresh news. You don't believe nigga, that. Yes, I do. He's you like, don't believe listen, that. he was like, hey, I'm just going to let y'all know. We got some shit. <laughs> he said, we got some shit. We got some non -human. people here. We got new technology. I'm still not convinced. Even with all the sketches and drawings and all that shit, we created jet engines. I be in the plane sometimes, <laughs> in the air, like, what? this shit don't make was no sense, bro. I'm just reading what Cotty said. 
many different people have seen this white lady ghost at the studio without having ever heard about her before. So there ain't no like, many. Oh, has, has no, ain't no many too? people. Okay. She's making that what? up. So and there's a lot of people that be knowing about this ghost that I you ain't tell me about. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, so he, wild he's boy. the owner that don't that act like he don't see nothing, so yeah. he can keep it running. Like, I don't know, it's not haunted. Come on. Yeah. Book uh book studio C. <laughs> <laughs> he hears shit clacking, he just going the other direction. No, 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 I don't believe in you. Yep, I go. I don't believe in you. It's gotta be something logical. <laughs> That's nah, what I always man. say. There's <laughs> gotta be something logical. Whenever something is, if there's something that we don't understand, uh -huh. there's a logical side to it. We just don't connect with the logic. That's all. Okay. I got a question for you. Yes. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. How to get there? I don't know. I don't pyramids. Know. Uh, pyramids got there because, because the earth at one point in time was covered with mostly wa with all water. Mm -hmm. and, I heard this one. And as the water started to recede, right. uh, it's like the pyramids are the equivalent to mountains. So Even so, though they're equal, yeah. and they are, what is it? They are, there's something with the, the location of them and being directly centered with something, the yes. stars or something like yes. that? Yes. So, mm -hmm. Based on that, yes, you don't you don't acknowledge any of that. I definitely acknowledge. I believe that there's a connection. I think that the pyramids were built underwater, and that and what we see now is the uh, is what's left over as the water has receded into in that desert, and that's what's still standing. And at that point, now I do believe this. I do believe that prior to us looking the way that we look, I believe that there is some sort of evolution mm -hmm. that took place. I think that everything came from the water. Mm. Uh, so you believe in mermaids? You believe mermaids built the pyramids not having legs but <laughs> tails and able to move these big ass pillars around and then not only did they build this pyramid down mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. they were able to make a waterproof adhesive to yes. keep the pyramids in place. Well, how is the mountain? Those mountains that you see, that these big huge mountains that we see in Mount Everest mm -hmm. even, you don't believe that was the, underwater? The, the underwater? mountains that have no shape, the mountains that are completely, yeah. you can see the erosion yeah. from sand and, and wind and water. Yes. Those mountains. Yes. In comparison to but pyramids. But you do acknowledge that they were underwater, right? I, that's what y'all books say. Well, there, I mean, they did find sense. erosion around uh, around the Sphinx. Like, the Sphinx had water around it. Of course. Mm -hmm. sure. If you go underwater right now, you'll see future mountains. I see what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? This Damn. is what you do. Listen, this is what you do. I'm just ahead you, of you. Know, islands, are, you islands are the top of underwater mountains. Huh? But Island, islands, islands came from are the, volcanoes. Well, that's what basically volcanoes create a mountain because all of the, the lava solidifies and mm -hmm. then you get an smart. We got an intelligent man. No, no, no. He's, he's, Billy he's, he's, has enough checker. knowledge to, to muddy the waters when it comes to bullshit to, enough to where you believe it. That's that's what you did. It's the truth. Nah, man, you can't sit up here and just no, nah, no, nah, man. Everything came from the water. Everything, bro. The water was there. Fish and uh, man, who all... turned on the water in your house though? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that water come from? <laughs> the head. The head. He couldn't turn the water because he had no man. He hands. just rolling around, <laughs> put his mouth on fossils. He's ah, finally gone. It on. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up. Hey, man. So, I don't know. That I, was that was. So I cool. want to sit back, smoke a cigar with you, and we gonna talk some shit. And I'm <laughs> I'm I'm calling bullshit on what I feel the bullshit, man. Okay. All right. Okay, that's great. Okay. You don't believe the you don't believe the UFO thing, where they said non-human pilots. No, wait, wait. See, here's the thing. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we so go. you 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 talk about you talk about UFOs. So are are, are we saying that they're flying saucers? Like they're just like. Some new auto, mode of automobile, mo mode of tra of traffic. What, what what are we saying here? I think they just mean foreign, like they've never seen it before. Okay, like well, we don't have the technology to do what this undescribed and un unidentified object can. And there's these other people, or is that humans being arrogant enough to make things that they don't understand look like them? You understand what I'm saying when I say that? Well, they said non-human. No, but but they when they draw them the diagrams, mm -hmm. they always look like. Two eyes, human like, human, human -like. like. Mm -hmm. and that's humans' Humanoid. arrogance by saying it's like when you see a dog in a cartoon; they have him walking on on his hind legs and shit. Mm -hmm. Because humans are so fucked up, we got to make that look like something we understand. Mm -hmm. So well, that's we gotta, how we identify. I know, but what I'm saying is because 
you can't you can't have the dog crawling. Mm. You got to have him walking up like Dodio, <laughs> walking down the street with a mm. suit and tie on a dog. Hey man, listen, but you trying to get away from the question. Okay, do you believe in aliens? No, you don't believe in aliens or ghosts. Well, here's what I do believe. Oh, here we go. I, I told you I believe here in energy, we... and I also do believe that in other dimensions there might be other things that we don't understand. But humans mm -hmm. are are human like. No, I don't believe that. Mm. I don't believe that. Okay. I don't believe that when when you start thinking about those kind of things, like even with with, with the image of God, I am a very God fearing person, mm. but I I am not gonna be believing that there's this guy in the sky with a white beard going <laughs> come to me, son. God, I don't believe that. That mm. doesn't make sense. God is everything. God is the the uh, the uh, the the beginning, the end, the the everything, and mm -hmm. God. If it, if God is what we say God is, mm -hmm. God is too intelligent to take form of a woman, a man, black, white. Mm -hmm. God's too intelligent to to take on the, a body. God's the intelligence. It's mm. the ultimate. So that's what I believe. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna call that. my cousin that work at Area 50, 51, and I'm I'm gonna have him send me some shit over. He ain't supposed to have his phone on him normally. He has to lock it in the locker. He told me, but I'm like, yo, yo. Take some pictures, and he gonna send it. I'm we gonna we gonna chop it up. <laughs> That's the goal. We are gonna see. I wonder if there's a front desk at the Area 51. Like, there's probably like some admin positions that don't get to know the secrets. Mm -hmm. You know, like they're just on the budget. You think it's a building, or you think it's like a there compound? are buildings there? We know yeah. what we know. We, you can see what's there if you go on like uh, Google Maps. Google Maps. No, there are buildings there. Yeah. Really? I it thought they would have blurred it out or something. No, it's. I mean, I'm, it probably is, but it is. It was used for military research. Like mm -hmm. that's known that it was a base there, and they've got buildings, and they've done stuff there the whole alien stuff came a lot later but mm. like, i can tell you a, sto a story a really quick one hell yeah i was driving I, well i was a child and uh and uh i vaguely remember it but my mother always talks about it still to this day and we were driving my mother and my father and my sister and we were on some kind of family vacation and we went through this area which is now area 51 and all of the cars that were driving all of the lights went out on every single car. It's nighttime. They freaked out. And my mother said we were all screaming. And, you, you know, she was yelling at my dad to not drive fast so that he wouldn't run into the back. Because all of the lights were out on every single car. Mm -hmm. Then they hit an area and everything came back on. So they were, that's when they was probably checking out elect, elect, electro posts. There was probably an EMP yeah. and electromagnetic yeah. field. Big as hell. Wow. See, I don't want to. I don't want to get all into all of See, that. See, you don't want to know it, so you can keep believing it's not true, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, I man. I think so. I think so. I think that's the truth. I think we should go to Lake Lanier. I think no. we should go to the Bermuda Triangle together. We can swing back by Area 51, do some shopping, maybe pick up some souvenirs, and we just see what the fuck happened, man. I would do it. I would just say, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll sleep in a cemetery, right now. Mm. I would. I think they're very peaceful places. Matter <laughs> you know, of fact, they're peaceful. They are very peaceful. I mean, everyone's buried there, so if everyone wanted to be buried there and they ended there, I feel like a cemetery would be relatively peaceful. It's right. the un it's the un unsolved and unfinished bodies of the ones that create ghosts in that. Right, but it's still scary. <laughs> but, but there's it's still nothing, hella there's, spooky. No. It's spooky, but it's, it's really not. Like I would have a picnic in a day, in a cemetery, you know. You know what? To be as creative as you are, I guess you have to be on a different level, man. You are definitely on your own echelon because I wouldn't sleep in no goddamn. <laughs> Cemetery. I ain't getting the house too close. No goddamn cemetery. Ghosts mm -hmm. can travel. I'm not being be two blocks over with some fucking tombstones. That's crazy. That's cra out of all of these blocks. No, no. <laughs> I on. just look at it like this. It's like what? It's peaceful. It's like what? What's gonna happen? It's something that just. What's the worst that could happen? You know what? You know what else is peaceful? What? Uh, just floating on a raft in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that shit either. That's terrible. You know. I imagine you go into space. There's no sound. You get to see all the wonders of what Earth really looks like, and the moon, and all of that. that. I don't. I don't want to be there either. I never That's peaceful, be there. though. Yeah. No. I. You know. I. I just think that. Uh, you know. I, I think for whatever reason, I was born with a, a level of patience and mm -hmm. a level of peace where nothing really scares me. I'm scared of things that I see. I'm scared of rats. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of things that could cause me to cause bodily harm to myself or mm -hmm. they could cause bodily harm. But I'm not afraid of the elements. Mm. I, I'm just not. You know what? I get that. Now, if you had led with that, I think I would have 
been able to digest everything you said a little easier. Because I feel that, right, I'm not afraid of, I'll say I'm not afraid of death in the sense of like, oh, I don't want to die. I'm not welcoming it, right. but I feel like I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a purpose. And when it's time for that purpose to be fulfilled, it might not be something I agree with, but I'm not, I'm not afraid of checking out in that sense. So I get, if you had said that earlier, I, I'm like, okay, I can understand what you're saying, but I'm not, yeah, but I still don't fuck with no cemeteries. Like, I'm not going to go looking for, I'm not afraid, but I also ain't going to go looking for, like, all right, ghost, prove it, nigga. Like, that's, right. that's, just, that's, that's antagonizing them. Now they got to do it. Right. Now they got to do it. They swinging their legs right. on your yeah. shoulder. Right. Yeah, I agree you with that. You see some ghosts in the gang, they come, they swinging ghost chains and shit. You're like, oh, see, this is Bentley fault. Because yeah. if I had not listened to him, See, if, if, if you know, I'm not doing no Ouija boards. I'm not doing nothing that's going to welcome anything that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not mm. doing it, right? Mm -hmm. I mind my business. I don't bother nobody. I ain't bungee cord <laughs> jumping. I ain't doing nothing that's going to bother. I don't bother nobody. Would you go, would you uh, skydive? Never. I tried to go. They told me I was too fat. <laughs> Did they? They let me go up in the air and everything. Wait, they I got to, you all the way up in the air and that's then told hilarious. you no. I had the jumpsuit on and everything. I made a whole video about it. When they wait. were like, oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, you the got guy told told the jump, told the the guys the supposed air. to jump with me, he was like, hey, man, we're just going to circle and go on back. Everybody, I watched everybody else jump with that person. <laughs> what it was, it was supposed to be another guy there who was smaller to balance my weight. Now, tandem parachutes have a weight limit of 500 pounds. And they was like, you don't want to be at 500. You right. want to be, you know, you know. 75 to 100 pounds away from that. They called and it. so they asked me my weight. I was like, I'm, a, I'm around there. And so they weighed me. That's how I didn't know the bitches was going. Because <laughs> <laughs> I walked around all morning looking for scales. I'm like, I ain't seen no scales. And then they took us in this room where all the jumpsuits were. And that's where the fucking scale was. Such, such Behind such the pile, story. right? So I didn't got the shit on because I didn't already did the training. They have like a, a, a mock... Like Bay of the Plane, where you you know you gotta jump out of it, and they're telling you we watched the video how the person's gonna be strapped to you, and when you jump out, like just hold your arms like this. You don't want to be all up in the person's face. So you block. I did all of this shit, right? And they was like, "Come on, man, just the plane. We're gonna we're gonna try to work it out." I'm like, "Cool." I didn't flew all the way to Florida. These are the these are the army. Skydivers. These motherfuckers are professional. This is their job, right? They, they put on they show. They knew how to do that. <laughs> yeah, they did. They the army. <laughs> what you mean? Them motherfuckers that bad if he was like, we're going to go in and circle back down. And did, because if he was sitting by me, he would have sat by the pilot, so he would have to look at me and feel Damn. the discomfort. Like, <sighs> That's such a perfect story. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, I, I'm, I'm not doing anything that's going to purposely, um, you know, put my life in jeopardy uh -huh. you know Same. i when i was young i dated some maybe not so careful chicks that could have caused <laughs> you know what i'm saying a problem um, that's dangerous too going oh, through yeah. covid i walked around a lot without a mask okay i'm one of those mm -hmm. but um but no i I'm, I'm not doing that i'm not jumping out no planes i'm not getting in a boxing ring mm -hmm. i'm not gonna I, i'm not even gonna get a tattoo because why are you gonna go sign up to hurt <laughs> Why would you sign some up for people, pain? Some people like it. It's not. It's 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 kind of like an addictive pain, like a tolerable pain. Yeah. You let me ask you this: You ever you ever you ever got hit before? And at the end, they keep sucking. You like, ha, 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 ha. stop, bitch! You got a fireball in your mouth. That's what it feel like. You got static in your mouth. Why would you keep? But you're not gonna stop. You be like, ah, oh, you try to push through it. That's what the tattoo is. Okay. You I know didn't know. I didn't know that because, like I said, I. That is what like, the tattoo's like. Is it? You got, you got like that right unusual here, you know? feeling is kind of what it's like. It's not super painful to most people, but you know. Well, the first thing you say is, oh, I could do it. But I'll just, yeah, I'll just go take a, take a, a gummy or or have a drink. They say, I think you can you have drinks. Yeah. I'm like, now wait a minute. You don't want to do anything that is going to make your blood thin. So alcohol will make your blood I'll thin. Be lit. So that's what they. <laughs> that's the reason behind it. Uh, Jesus, yeah, that's Jesus. the reason. Oh, yeah. I'd be yeah. yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm. You but they know, got numbing cream and everything now. They got numbing cream for tattoos. Well, another reason, uh, you know, I, I, I haven't found anything interesting enough that I will want to look at every day. For the rest of your life. And I got very dark skin, mm -hmm. so I don't know how. You know, here's the thing: like when you're dark skin and you get tattooed, especially when they have a whole bunch of them, they just look dirty. Like Little Wayne <laughs> looked dirty. He looks like a dirty gargoyle. <laughs> that's what that's what Little Wayne looks like. He just looks. 
You he's, wanna, he's done a lot to himself. Uh, you want to clean him up? <laughs> you just want to clean him up when you say it. He's done a lot lately. Yeah. And I, I could tell. It looks like he's off of most of the stuff that got him to that point, which is great because I want him to be around to really get his flowers. Yeah, like yeah, he got, for he real. got them. You know, that, that every year he gets them. But I want him like. To, there's gonna come a time when this generation realizes how much he influenced. The rap game totally, and I want him to be around for that. And his kids, that was and my just see, you know, I don't wish that on nobody. No, neither do I. Neither but a couple more things before we get out of here because I know you got a hard time. We gotta this. go, man. Nah, we got some time. We got uh, so Carly Lee, Carly, Carly, excuse me, I only call her Carly. Carly Russell's former boyfriend is looking for love oh, God. while now hosting club events, so he is on flyers. Come That's out, wild. check me out, party with your boy. Also, bad bitches holler at a player. That's so wild. A kid, a fake kidnapping victim's boyfriend is riding the wave. Riding it. But he was invested. Family was looking for him. Well, what was it about, though? Why did she do that? I, did, I never understood. I never got the... They you know, have not made a statement as to why. They just said she uh, was disturbed. And she did not intend to cause this much corruption, not corruption, but uh, chaos. Uh, and uh, she would be making another statement, I guess, later. This was, uh, I guess the lawyer got this from her, got that from her. Uh, but yeah, they haven't still given a reason. But, uh, but yeah, she got fired from her job. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the AKA is going to do with her because she's an AKA. Oh, she's a skiwi, okay. Yep. And um, <laughs> yeah, man, I, you know. Well, yes, you're like, charged. I I understand Jesse Smollett, but I don't understand this one. See, I, Jesse's thing was I gotta get this money up, mm. so we got. I'm, I got my ass whooped out here, and I'm out here. I People need, gonna donate. They, there you go. Yeah, all that. All that. Yeah. This chick, I'm going. What's mm, the angle? What's the angle? What? Mm. I don't know. The, consp- the conspiracy with people like this Doja Cat and stuff is like. Those you can't. Carly? Here we go. Here we go. What was what was she? What was she? she a Illuminati a ain't getting Carly that thick ass girl in their crew. In general, they're just like the people are out here. She's part of the D nine and those organizations. So they're, the conspiracy goes into all these different things, and people are doing these publicly embarrassing things, just like the lady on the plane that said that guy wasn't real. All of these things are part of initiations or ceremonies or whatever. Well, I just think some people are crazy or weird. I'm not getting on no no fly list. Neither just to join right. no goddamn group. I don't give a shit if they tell me I get a, 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 a private plane. Did she I, go to jail? Sometimes I, who? The white girl? I'm sure she, she got a detained. I don't know if she went to jail for it, but I'm sure she got detained. Did they land it? Sure. Did they have to land it because I of I think that? they made an emergency. Is she not landed. the one that opened the door up? Did no, no, no. Okay. This that's is the one. She was just calling the ruckus, the commotion. I mean, nah, if she okay. said that's he's not real, I would be like this. I, I, maybe maybe he ain't real. Hey, if you saw you the nigga he was talk she was talking to, he was scary. Did he, he look real? He, I mean, he was real, <laughs> but he's like he had like crazy amounts of tattoos. He had like co- like green, colorful, like colored eyes. Oh, so so she was saying he's not real. That's not real to me. Yeah, That's... she's saying like he's an alien. No, he oh, he Satan. told her I'm Satan. Hey, shit. He was a scroll. I, mean, I wouldn't fuck with that. <laughs> he was a scroll from uh, Secret Invasion from Marvel. This was all. Just promotion for them since they can't do anything right now. This okay. is all for that. That's that's what I'm going with. Yeah, I, I have to go with that one too because uh, yeah, that that's that's pretty crazy. I mean, I, I've seen some things where I'm like, uh, that ain't real. Hey, you know what? You know what's wild? When I was growing up, is, is this crazy? I used to think that no one was real and I was the only uh, live person, and that everything else was here for my benefit. Damn. You know what's crazy? When you was a kid? When I was a kid. That's a wild ass thought to have as a kid. <laughs> I was high one time and I was having an existential conversation with my daughter because she just loves to talk when I love to talk and that's the only time I really get that deep with her. But I was like, I asked her, I was like, what if you are living in this world by yourself, right? And every person you meet is just a different version of you. A version Ooh. that went two rights when you be two lefts and stuff like that. But when you meet somebody and it feels like deja vu, that's the person that's on the closest path to you. So that's why they feel familiar. So they did all the turns that you did, but they just did maybe two to five different ones than you. But they feel so familiar because 
everybody in your world is a different version of you. Even who you smashing. Oh, bars. Yes, smashing. But the, the, the crazy side is that that means that in one life, you were Albert <laughs> Einstein. You were Beethoven. You were Malcolm X. You were oh, Martin historical. Luther King. But that also means you were Jeffrey Dahmer. You were the Unabomber. You were all of these different versions of you. You were Michael Jordan at one point. You were Dennis Rodman, right? But you were also the most heinous people in the world, too. But it's all different versions of you. Ooh. Affected by Ooh. their, their demographic, <laughs> di by their environment, by their parents. And their parents are different versions of you, too. But each, each version gets better, each generation gets better with the advancements of technology and stuff like that. But it's all you. Damn. That's crazy. Now, that's that's a dope-ass movie right there. You heard it here first, yeah. and we copyrighting right here. I already told you about the scary movie. Oh, you did. You yeah. did. Now, which is some right? wild shit. Right? We got to get together. Come on, we gotta man. Get together on that. I got shit, boy. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. I mean, like, that's a, that's, a, that's a version of reincarnation, maybe. Mine wasn't that deep. Mine was just kind of like more like Truman Show-ish, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, or also, I used to think that when I went to sleep, I woke up somewhere else. Ooh. And that when you're dreaming, it's like the remnants of what, what you you just the the remnants of what happened. While like you were asleep? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's weird. It's, oh, I'm shit. dumb. It's weird. I, I, I always think it's dumb. Yeah. I, I I always felt like I could fly if I tried hard enough. In your and dreams? Like, well, yeah, in my dreams. But like in the dreams when I did fly, it wasn't like on some Superman type shit, like up up and away type shit. It was like like I focused and I was like, I want to fly. And then it would happen like that. And I always felt like, I feel like if we only using what, what they say, 8%, 12% of our brain can? Not even that, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, higher, it's higher than that, but there's definitely a portion it's of It's higher than that? It's I thought it was less 12%. than that. No, I mean, we use, it depends on what you're actually thinking of, too, because like your brain's working on a lot of stuff in the background that you're not able to access. Mm -hmm. So like you do use all of it, but the actual cognitive part where you're thinking and all of that yeah, is Yeah, I thought it was like 5% or something like Something low. I, don't quote me on it because, <coughs> but I I do know that we don't use. Do a we lot really of it. only use like ten percent of your brain? Which which at the beginning of the story, this is what this guy Rashawn was saying is that if you focus and you you can learn to utilize uh, more of the capacity that you that's stored there, mm -hmm. you can move things, you can see things, you, you can cheat. move things. Yeah, the chi. Now that is that's where I bring in the whole connection with what we call haunted and stuff like that. When something moves or somebody sees a vase break or something like that, <clears throat> because they're in tune to something that maybe the average person's not right. in tune with. Right, because they spend more time developing it or they are able to drop into that thing faster than or easier than most people are able to. I, I really feel like that. I feel like that there are things that we can't explain and certain people have certain energies because of whatever reason, but like, the shit that Bruce Lee could do, yeah. and certain other, certain other martial art masters are able to do, like the the go from here to the punch, like that type of shit yeah. is just like the it's not inch. meant for everybody to have that. I think it's, it's something that you have to have the discipline for, you have to have the patience for, you have to have the steadiness and the the, the calmness. Like if you imagine if if hood dudes could like just do that type of shit, Chief. yeah. And remember that at one point they was doing the knockout game. They was just running up to people, just knocking them yeah, out. Like yeah, yeah. that shit is not meant for everybody. So right. I feel like it, you you can achieve it, but like you know, <clears throat> yeah, ain't meant for everybody. So yeah. the whole ten percent thing is actually a myth. We use we use almost all of our brain. Mm. Oh man, is yeah. it a myth? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a myth. I like that. I like that myth. I like thinking It comes that. from, like, a couple of people in history. Like, Albert Einstein one time was quoted saying he only used 10% of his brain. So a lot of, like, it came from a lot of, like, an older myth that we only use mm. a small portion. And there's no actual proof behind that we don't use all of it. Some people say that, like, because you wouldn't necessarily use all of it because if you did, you would have no room to actually learn things and, like, hmm. retain That's knowledge of that. So there are definitely portions you don't use. But the whole idea that we use only 10% is most likely false. Damn. My homeboy like used to call. He used to, when he get mad, he calls somebody, you smooth brain bitch. Smooth, smooth brain. brain. That's such a that's smart joke. You <laughs> smooth brain bitch. That's such a, that's that's too smart to be insulted. They didn't get it there. What? It's like a compliment. It that's sounds like a compliment. Funny. Right. That's you ain't got funny. no wrinkles on your shit, you, you dumb bitch. Smooth very brain. Funny. Very funny. You got a smooth brain. <laughs> Pat, you got anything before we get ready to get up out of here? Uh... 
Let me see. Come on, Pat. You got some shit, man. I know you got something to unpack. All right. How about this? Rough sex between brother manatees leaves Jesus. one dead at a Florida aquarium. <laughs> Jeez. I got one. <laughs> I did see that. That is the wildest headline I've seen in, in a while, and I purposely look for crazy headlines. <laughs> so uh, it says a kinky rendezvous between male manatees at a Florida aquarium has cost one of them their lives. An adult male manatee named Hugh was housed at uh, a marine laboratory and an aquarium, and he died back in April. Scientists sprang into action to figure out what happened to him. They quickly learned that mating with his brother, Buffet, is what caused his death. Uh, the brothers had begun a consensual sexual relationship mm. in the months leading to Hugh's demise. Mm. Consensual, <laughs> huh? okay. But it proved lethal. The Buffet, which is the larger of the two, I'm glad. Befitting name. <laughs> Would frequently mount and penetrate Hugh in his rectum. I, I didn't know they had butt sex. I guess this is a common thing among manatees in that. that is will, that true? If there's no females around, booty when sex in the mood, they will seek uh, out somebody gonna get whatever it. They want. Wow! Yeah. I didn't know you could have wow. butt sex <laughs> as a, a marine an, animal. <laughs> wow! Yeah, <laughs> well, man, that's very funny. <laughs> we gotta take that, Brandon. That's our joke now. Um, it no. said this time, the last time they did it, he sank to the bottom of the tank and became unresponsive. Buffet continued returning to his wow. body to mount him, even as Hugh lay not moving. So the buffet kept going. Oh, he kept oh, going. Is he a freak? But he's also uh, necroph necrophiliac. Necrophiliac. Yeah. He don't give a shit. He didn't give a damn. He's like Bill Cosby. Oh, uh, did I say that out loud? Wow. <laughs> Can we take, edit that? Just edit that. Fix it in post. Yeah, we'll fix that in post. That is... <laughs> I'm... I am... Uh... I'm at a loss. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know how to. Um, Booty I, sex I did see it on, today. online, and I was like, "What? What is, what is this that I'm looking at?" I was a little <laughs> weird and everything, and it was like, "It was like, is this is his blood brother, or is it just like, you know, it's <laughs> like his cousin, or is his step brother?" Play bros. You know Man, the more we find out about the aquatic life, it's like we just need to stay the fuck from up out of there. This is what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I said everything comes from the water. They're still finding different species of, mm -hmm. of sea creatures mm -hmm. right now yep. that we can't identify. So therefore, what that means is that everything came from there. Some organism just got out of the water and crawled on the land as mm -hmm. it receded, and it then turned into what it turned into and turned into what it... And here we are. I, I, That's, I think it's crazy that the when we were talking about uh, aliens, a lot of alien interpretations are like either humanoid or like octopuses. Like, and it's crazy. Yeah. Octopus, they don't seem like they're from this earth. Octopi. It's Octopies. crazy. Octopies. Is it's it? Pussies. Octopuses. octopuses. Like you said, octopuses. Is it? Well, octopuses. where did octopi come from? Austin Powers? There's no. a word octopi. called octopi. octopi. Probably, but octopuses is the plural. I love them. <laughs> Yo, they're so dope. I feel like that's what aliens would look seen, like. Did y'all see this this video of this jellyfish right here that they no. just discovered? Oh, yeah. oh, they're yeah. finding a yeah. bunch of jellyfish down crazy. there. That one that's like a ring of fire. It looks yeah. like it's a firework, yeah. Bro, look, 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 can you imagine seeing that shit up underwater? No, look, look not without shitting look, myself. That's what this dolphin did to a dead fish. What's he doing? Oh, he put his, put his whole Is that his thing. Dick? Yep. In the, in the dead fish. Yeah. Dolphins <laughs> are predators, they bro. Are. Oh, my God. They are. Uh, what's his name? Henson? Chris Henson needs to get a, a group of dolphins together and walk in on mm -hmm. them because they are wild-ass yeah, wild. <laughs> they are wild -ass predators. Yeah, I heard they'll rape you. I heard they'll yeah. rape a check. You know, yeah, like yeah, I am not I'm not going to go to SeaWorld, see no shit like that. I'm, yeah. I'm good, yeah. bro. The other uh, disappointing one was otters. Yeah, they Otters? Otters they are rape aggressive their, rapists. Yeah. And I love otters. That's hilarious. Otter pops, I never that. knew that. Oh, they're terrible. I mean, if you really go into most animals, there's a lot of uh... rats rape. Really? Yeah, they they ra they rape uh, uh, they rape. Oh, ducks too. Apparently. <laughs> ducks? ducks? How you said that? Of, was I well, I was, I was going to say something. And I was trying to keep it politically correct, <laughs> yeah. so I just decided to just bail yeah, and, and halfway just... in the middle of it and just go. Yeah, they rape. They Other rape. animals too. I don't know. I think because I'm it, sure if we did enough research, we'd find. I think we'd be disgusted yeah. by most of the animal Jesus kingdom, but I'm not sure humans. But you know human, is? is it true that humans are the only species that has face-to-face -face sex? 
<laughs> Out of all the videos I've ever seen of animals, they're always doing it from the back. It was always from wait, the back. wait, yeah. It's always no. I've seen style. like squirrels face to face. Squirrels do like a, a missionary pile drive type shit. I've never seen Whales that. Whales do like a dance together. I don't know. I mean, their eyes are on the sides of their heads. I don't know if they actually see each other or if they're face to face. Snakes are in an orgy. Snails kind of touch each other. Snails are hermaphroditic as well, though. So they, they're doing both things. Too. Hermaphroditic? How are, about yeah. that? That's a word there. I'm yeah, gonna, it is. I, I'm going to be using that all week. That's an SAT word. Right there. I don't even know how I would. Be. I can't say it fast. You would have I to mean, bring up the subject to say that word. Well, it's very, it's very hermaphroditic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it. Like, oh, that's why you brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Is that? Yeah. Somebody said monkeys? Yeah. Gorilla, monkeys? Gorillas have been known to. Do missionary? Po- yeah, in certain instances. Um, I think I've seen that, too. Like a Shit. like a gorilla hmm. riding another gorilla. Oh, I, I mean, it's it's food for thought. I mean, these are these are. I always think about this shit. That it was nobody a good else question. Thinks though. I think nobody <laughs> I like, else huh. is thinking. About. I'm like, am I weird? Because that kind of shit flows in my head all the time. <laughs> Do other animals from face to face? For, real, a great for the majority question. of animals that are on four legs, it would be awkward and probably hard for them to mm-hmm. do it face to face. About birds. I mean, birds can possibly. Yeah, birds they get up and jump on the. the they back. do doggy. Yeah, they jump on their back and like. So doggy style is really like the that was one species that got the label, but every animal does doggy style. I think so. It should be well, called animal style. Well, the thing about cats, <laughs> I mean, I, as many cats as I've seen in my life, I never seen a cat thing. Like I've never cat seen penis? a thing on a cat. Yeah, mm. they're not fun. I've never seen that. They got spikes on the end yeah, or something, right? They've got yeah. barbs on it because they have to like latch into the oh, female. Lord, yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not pleasant. Most, most Everything about cats are just dis- disgusting. Uh, I heard oh, hyenas, God. the the females have the penis. Is that true? What? I don't know that. That's yeah, what? I was about to do a, what? Like was about to do a video on it. Is that it. why they laugh? Are they laughing? <laughs> you going to fuck what? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, stop! Yeah, all female spotted hyenas have functional penises. <laughs> Wait, but do the males also have functional? It says they use it to pee, signal, uh, and anally mount males and females oh, for dominance. They pegging, but, but they can't. Rep- <laughs> but they can't rep- they pegging peg. these niggas out here. I, I ain't pe- never gonna respect no hyena. No, it says <laughs> the females have penises nearly indistinguishable from those of the males. So. It's just dick out. That's the way out shit. Whole click got they dick. That's, that's the way out shit. That's why they scream all the time. That's it. <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> Man, that's, a, that's way out right there. <laughs> I've never imagined an animal get paid. They switch it a, like, do me tonight. The, <laughs> <laughs> you get in the back to that. Right push the legs up. <laughs> you want to switch? <laughs> What's the position when they, they called it? Uh, huh? No, nah, when the guy's legs are up. Uh, we were just talking about this. Was oh, that shit looks oh, God damn. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> That's well, way out. That's way out. <laughs> that is that is it, folks. That was a uh, that was a good ass time, Ben. Thank oh, you for fine. coming hey, look, on, man. Listen, man. Anytime I can come by and talk some shit with <laughs> yeah. y'all, it would be my pleasure. This was fun, man. Hey, I'm gonna it. have more ghost next stories. time with, with pictures of, of spaceships and shit. I'm like, oh, what about this? Exhibit A. <laughs> right? What's the logical answer? I'm gonna to just this. take you over to the house. 3645 Mount Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going uh, to that fucking demon palace. That's crazy. Man, listen, you got I warnings all there. throughout, even the last day. I lived there. I'm the guy that's walking around that probably will get mugged because I'm aloof. I just don't. I just, well, it's good. No, Pat is aloof. You just <laughs> refuse to admit stuff that's right in front of your face. That's true. They would try <laughs> to mug you and then you would just walk by them. And yeah. they wouldn't understand why. Is I don't tall. believe in like, robbery. Yeah, he's, he's tall, so they'd be holding the gun like, give me your wallet. He'd be like, I don't believe in getting mugged. <laughs> I don't believe in this. Exactly. That's, that's, a, that's who I am right there. <laughs> I don't believe in this. I don't believe you're going to do that. Oh, wait, wait. Before we stop, before we stop. Yeah. Did you see the guy? This was interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, the now guy, listen, it's three fifty six. I'm not gonna get in no, trouble good. with Clark, okay? Good. I'm good. I would get in trouble. I'm good. Okay. I got. I got time. I'm watching. <laughs> so, th- there was a guy. He broke in to uh, someone's house the other day. Broke in their yard, mm-hmm. and he had a handgun. And to his surprise, the guy that lived there a had a big ass shotgun mm-hmm. and ran up on him. So now they gun to gun. And the guy, oh yeah, saw that, yeah, and he basically talked. Like, him what's down. going on? Yeah, talk to me, man. And he's invited like, him in his crib. Yes, he's wow. Like, he's Couldn't like, be me, like, huh? That guy's a hero. Couldn't be me, man. I, I would like to think that that's what I would do. He turned his back on the dude with the gun too. He did. He's yeah. like, come on in. He come on. Like, in. I saw that too. Pop, pop, pop. 
And that was like, I was like, please don't get in there and just hear some shots. Like, I was like, from either one of them. Right, right? that'd be cold as hell. That'd be cold as hell. But Especially he him. seemed like he really cared. Yeah. And it takes somebody coming out of that situation, seeing that there's more opportunity to be that bigger person and do what he did. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Right. I want to think that I could because I, I feel like people always laugh at me because I want to see the good in everybody. I yeah. believe that there's good in everybody. Mm -hmm. I, th I believe that everybody is inherently good. I really believe that. Yeah. Right? I think we learn bad habits along the way. And I think that sometimes somebody just needs somebody to love them, to mm -hmm. show them mm -hmm. that, yo, you know what? There's a better way. You don't want this, young man. Yeah. You don't want this because this is, you. Can, we going to both be dead. Yeah. Or yeah. you gonna be in jail and I'll be dead. So now, I don't know. I, I, that's the, that's the scary part because it's like they were both lucky in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Like obviously the kid was very lucky that he got like someone that's like to to give him that guidance. But he, the that dude is also really lucky because like some of these kids are like real life savages like out yeah. here like in the yeah. streets like they're like they like for real like he could have just been trying to get his stripes. It might not have even been about a right. robbery. It might not have been about the values. He was like, you got to go kill somebody. Oh, I know this guy. He always be home by himself. It could have just been a stripes thing. Right. Right? And that's what I was thinking of. And like when you said you want to think that 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 you would have done the same thing. And I, I get and I respect that. But let me ask you, would you have said that? Would you still think that way if your family's home? No. See? No. That's what I'm it's saying. a lot no. of things. If my family is there, no. I am emptying multiple clips. Yeah. That's, yeah. There's so yeah, many they gotta Multiple. Go. It's they gotta one, go. boom, like one, one, one motion. It comes out, put another one in, and keep, I thought, I got a brand new wall. This wall is factors. completely open. Yeah, now. yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a different thing then, but it's like, uh, you know, you, you try to find the commonness in, in everybody that you run across. You try to find... What's that good in this person? Let me talk to this person. I've talked to people that other people always say, "That's my he's an asshole," and I'm mm -hmm. going, "Not with me. He's that, not yeah. with me because I've t I talked to him like a human, like a human. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And so I don't know. I, I just saw that and I was like, "Wow, what a it was bold. beautiful. It was like this dude had God, God had him said and said, "Don't just talk to the yeah. kid. Mm -hmm. We got him." Yeah, that, that was, was a, weird. I don't know. That was a very, very unique situation, too. Because I would have been scared that he was like, yeah, come on, let's talk about it. And as soon as I get home, bah, 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 right. you trying to rob me? Like, it could have gone Man. so bad. It could have got so bad. But I think when he broke and he was like, it's my little brother. I'm doing this for my little brother. That's when I was like, oh, okay. This, yeah. this, this might have been a desperate situation. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, listen, man, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. We appreciate it. We look forward to having you back on with your free brother. You know what I'm saying? Great storytelling. Bentley Kyle Evans, ladies and gentlemen, do your research on him. Uh, so much he's done in the black community, black entertainer, black entertainment, all of it together. Look him up. Realize the legend that we had in here today. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> as always, uh, you want to give me a social? You want you, you, Do you put... Yeah, you know, I'm at... Bentley Evans on everything. I'm, you know, uh, not not Bentley Kyle. I'm just at Bentley Evans mm -hmm. on everything. What's the new one? X and Twitter. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I, I can't even keep up anymore. But so I'm crazy. at Bentley clown, Evans, bro. and please follow <laughs> if you want. Uh, I do some silly shit. Yeah, yeah. You follow him. It's a good and sign. inspirational stuff too. Yeah, that too. That too. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. As always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. We'll I'm, see you next time, I'm guys. I'm about to go watch Peace. a ghost movie right now. <laughs> <laughs>